YouTube, what is going on guys? I am back for the first time in a long time. I've moved, I've got this new office little studio set up. Hopefully I'll be making some more video for you guys and I've got some really exciting news. So as most of you may know, I'm a pilot. Most of you guys have followed me for a couple years through my journey in aviation, getting all my aviation ratings, flying planes and doing what I've done. Um, and I bought an airplane. So last weekend, I officially bought a Vans RV6A. I'll throw a little picture of it up right here for you guys to see. Pretty good looking airplane. I bought a Vans RV6A with a partner. Me and my friend went 50-50 on it, and I bought the airplane using Bitcoin. So here's where it gets a little bit fun. I actually got a Bitcoin loan to purchase this airplane. Uh, the airplane was $75,000, so I needed $37,500 to be able to purchase this cash. Excuse my phone there. To purchase this cash, and ultimately cash is buying power. This was an older gentleman selling this airplane for a really good deal. It only had 83 hours on the airframe and the engine after 14 years of service life after he built the airplane. So hardly ever flew it. It was hangered in Oregon for 14 years. We got a great deal and we said, we need to execute cash quickly to get this done. Although we're going to refinance out uh, and then I'll pay back this Bitcoin loan and uh, we'll have a loan on the airplane. I think it'll be a better deal. That way we can leverage the cash and use it on other things. And then eventually we'd like to upgrade the panel and flip this airplane. But until that time comes, we're just going to have a blast in it. It's fully aerobatic, plus or minus six G's. It's absolutely incredible. It's got the uh, Lycoming 0360 instead of the 0320, uh, which is very common in the Vans RV6. So it has the 180 horsepower, constant speed prop, it's got an autopilot, it's only VFR, but hey, I'm not really gonna be looking to shoot approaches in this thing anyway. Maybe one day just for some practice, I think it'd be cool to do a glass panel and upgrade it a little bit. And um, hopefully here I'll put up some more photos. There's the panel um, of the airplane. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think of the airplane and I'll jump into my computer and show you guys how I purchased this airplane with Bitcoin, taking out a Bitcoin loan against my assets uh, and something really, really cool that you guys can do too for any kind of asset purchase to ultimately leverage your money, not get hit with inflation, still get the appreciation on your assets, not get hit with capital gains tax and be able to buy what you wanna buy by becoming your own bank. So we'll swap into the computer and I'll show you guys what that looks like. All right guys, so welcome inside the computer. We're looking at Celsius, which is a crypto exchange. And to start off real quick, a lot of you might have seen through my Instagram, I've been posting a lot about crypto recently. I'm very, very bullish on crypto. I think we're gonna see 150 to $200,000 Bitcoin by Q1 of next year. I'm really bullish on it. And that being said, I've invested a lot of money into crypto. So when I bought this airplane, um, I don't have a whole lot of cash. I don't wanna keep my money in cash because inflation for October was 6.2%. They're printing a ton of money and inflation is gonna go crazy. So the value of your dollar is going down every day. So I wanna keep my money in assets. I wanna keep my money in real estate. I wanna keep it in stocks, uh, preferably crypto, because crypto is finite. At least Bitcoin only has 21 million Bitcoin and it's an appreciating inflation hedged asset class. So uh, I had a lot of money in Bitcoin and I wanted to buy this plain cash. So what could I do? I could either sell my Bitcoin and use that cash to buy the plane, or I could take out a loan against my Bitcoin. So if I were to sell the Bitcoin, I would be hit with capital gains tax, and that Bitcoin that I sold is now no longer Bitcoin. So Bitcoin doubles in a month, and I have that cash out of Bitcoin, I lose out on that appreciation. So taking a loan out against your Bitcoin or any asset is a way where you can hold and keep the appreciation of the asset and you don't get capital gains tax. So what I'm gonna do, or what I did, was I took out a loan against my crypto and then I used that to buy the airplane and then once I refinance out of the airplane with uh, AOPA, EAA, one of these aviation finance companies and solidify a long-term loan on the airplane, I'll pay back the Bitcoin and still hold all the appreciation and get no capital gains. So in order to do this, and you can do this for any asset, I recommend Celsius. 
Um, you can borrow at 1% if you do a 25% loan to value loan. Um, or what I did was a 50% loan to value loan at 8.95%. So a lot of you guys in real estate, if you are looking for hard money, um, lend yourself money. So you could do this on a real estate deal. And if, let's say you've got a $100,000 flip that you're trying to buy, you need a $20,000 down payment. If you've got $40,000 in Bitcoin, you can take out a 50% loan to value loan uh, pay, that, pay that down payment of 20K at 9%. So you can make that 20% down payment with the crypto loan and now you're technically zero into the deal. So you've got 20 grand down at 9% and then you can use the rest hard money and you can do flips that way or you can buy any asset this way. So what I did is I had about $60,000 in Bitcoin. And if we go to total loan amount, we want a loan in US dollars. I pulled out 25,000. And then the other 12.5, I just used cash that I had on hand. And the collateral needed, you'll see here, is 0.8585 Bitcoin. Um, so 50% loan to value. If you wanted to do a 1% interest rate, 25% loan to value, you'd need 1.71 Bitcoin. Uh, so this is a really cool way how you can leverage your money. I'm all about leveraging money, using other people's money, trying to do things smart. A lot of people get scared when it comes to debt or credit, but if you use it responsibly the right way, then you can leverage your money, pay less taxes, and ultimately get more appreciation off your assets. And you can do this for a one, two, or three year term, and you can even refinance. Um, the only risk to this is if the value of Bitcoin goes down significantly, since you're using it as collateral, you might have to add more funds but Bitcoin would have to drop to 41,000, for instance, for my loan to get liquidated, and that's very unlikely of happening. Or I could just put more money in, make some payments, and it'd be good to go. On the other end of the spectrum, if Bitcoin appreciates and like doubles in value, you don't even have to pay this loan back because your appreciation paid the loan for you. So pretty freaking cool. So guys, I hope you found this video informative. I hope you learned something as far as crypto, crypto loans. It's a really, really cool asset class that's only continuing to grow and get bigger and bigger. I mean, we've seen FTX ads at the, at the World Series. FTX just got the naming rights to the stadium in Miami. Crypto.com just got the naming rights to the Staples Center in LA. The crypto industry is booming. And I think it's going to be a long-term alternative to the dollar and the dollar's not looking so good right now with all this inflation and stuff. But aside from that, I bought an airplane. I think you guys uh, will enjoy that because my channel has been mainly aviation since its inception. And I'm really excited to make some new aviation videos. I actually get to do some in-flight stuff. I'll put some GoPros on the airplane, do some aerobatics and show you guys just you know my journeys. Uh, with this airplane and talk about some of the different aspects of airplane ownership and my thoughts on that. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. I aim to post a lot more content over the coming year and soar your full potential. I'll see you guys in the next one.